Welcome back to Across Louisiana. Well, you probably know how important it is to call 911, but do you also know how important it is to call 811? That's the number of Louisiana One Call. It's a very important service that they offer here in the state of Louisiana. Here to tell us all about it is Brent Salzman. Welcome to the show. Thank you for having me. Obviously, people, like I said, people know that number, but they need to know this one. Tell them why. Absolutely. Uh, basically, the way our program works, we're called before you dig. It's all about public safety. Right. A lot of folks don't know what's under their ground, and uh, if you call our organization, uh, what we do is we notify those underground utility owners and operators, submerged facilities as well. Right. Uh, we contact them after you notify us to go mark your lines. That way you don't damage them if uh, you perform any kind of excavation activity. Homeowners are included in that as well. Well, and you're in damage prevention, so uh, tell the folks, I mean, why is it so important that they call before they dig? Uh, so it's all about public safety, so don't hurt themselves or damage underground facilities. No one wants to damage their own underground utilities, especially, again, if you're a homeowner. Uh, i tell you a personal story about myself. Years ago, before I was involved in damage prevention, I was planting a tree in my backyard. Didn't call first, call 811. It's simple, it's free, it's the law. Right. But anyway, uh, digging, uh, digging a hole for the tree, I actually cut a telecommunications line going to my house. Wow. So, of course, I was out of internet service, <laughs> TV service, and phone service, and I had to pay that company to come repair their line, my own line, serving my own home. Right. So, again, it's free. Call 811. It's a simple call. And like you mentioned, that is the law, so you don't want it to hit you in the wallet as well. Absolutely. <laughs> Well, tell me a little bit about, I mean, take me through the process. So if I call and, and I tell them, okay, I want to dig, I mean, what, what's going to happen after that and what do I need to wait on? Uh, you have to wait two full business days. So you contact us. Again, uh, we contact the utility companies. And within the two full business days, those facility owner operators will go mark their lines, either with flag or paint on the ground. Each color represents a different type of utility. And so uh, after that occurs and you wait the two full business days, you got to respect those marks and not, uh, not dig around them. So you'll know something's actually there under the ground. So it's really important that you know about one call and know about that number so you can, can plan that in advance and have everything go smoothly by calling two days out. That's correct. That's correct. Well, I know you have some exciting events coming up both in Lafayette and Monroe areas. It's called Diggers Night Out. Tell me about that. Sure. Uh, those programs are uh, specifically for excavators, those who excavate on a daily basis. And by law, the definition of excavation is movement or removal of earth. So that's the bottom line. So those folks who perform that activity, we like to treat them well. And so we have a safety program. Typically, they start around 5.30 p.m. It's over by 8.30 p.m. Right. Uh, plenty of door prizes, of course, food, a catered event. Uh, but more importantly, a safety, safety message is uh, provided during the program itself. So, like you said, the one uh, April 21st is going to be in Lafayette at the River Oaks uh, uh, facility uh, and the one on the 28th of April is going to be at the ULM library. Uh, so again, I'd encourage anybody to attend that program. So that, that's really important. I mean, other than the obviously the important service you provide, a big function of what you do is education, isn't it? Absolutely. Uh, we always look for opportunities to educate the public uh, about our program. As a matter of fact, I'd encourage anybody if they'd like a presentation for their firm or civic organization, contact us. That's what I do. Travel around the state just educating folks. Tell the folks where they can go to find out more about that. Uh, you can go to our website, L-A-O-N-E-C-A-L-L.com, LouisianaOneCall.com. We have an event calendar uh, that uh, indicates all the programs that we participate in, and I'd encourage anybody to go to that calendar of events. Thank you so much, Brent. Appreciate it. Oh, thank you. Sure thing. Well, that's going to do it for this edition of Across Louisiana. I'd like to thank all of our guests for joining us today, and thank you for joining us as well. Have a great weekend, everybody.